Can't imagine many flurfs would want to challenge Bob from Gently's channel. Oh, you would be surprised. They like to do it all the time. I've got one right now, Pea Brain, that is just driving me absolutely insane. Hey everybody, Pea Brain here. Um, I'm doing a video here. Actually, I'm doing a series of videos because I went and looked at uh, Bob, the Science Guy's channel, and uh, found this video where he basically says, uh, Flat Earth is all children. And um, just want to tell you how I got here. I had started to open up Patreon about, I think it was 2017, and I never finished opening it. And all of a sudden, um, I got this email said, uh, you're one click away from opening your Patreon. So I went and did it and says, OK, now you're verified. And um, then all of a sudden, I got a Patreon a couple months ago. Uh, Harmon Walker. Thank you, Harmon. And he also hit me up with a little uh, PayPal, too. I appreciate that so much. So I ran into him on a uh, live stream in the comments, and he said how he enjoyed the thumping I gave to Bob, the science guy. So I said, yeah, I enjoyed that too. And um, so anyway, I thought, wow, I wonder what Bob's doing. I haven't heard from him or seen him. So I went over to his channel, and that's where I found this video, uh, Flood Uthels, All Children. And I went through the whole thing and I interjected as I went along and uh, I did my usual like tangent on um, things that are pertinent, pertinent facts or pertinent um, germane subjects that, you know, of course, go along with it. And so that video is about an hour long and it's on Patreon. So what I'm going to do is put out a bunch of videos of uh, clips and things that, uh, you know, make shorter versions to put out and then you can go see if you like more in depth. Also, I've got some really cool uh, new 3D animations I've made. These are really cool, help explain some stuff in the video. So yeah, the, the hour video is definitely a keeper. And if you'd like to hear me uh, go fuller in depth and uh, a lot more discussion, go into Patreon and you can watch the sign up for Patreon and you can watch the video. And I'm planning to do more in depth stuff for Patreon. Patrons. So here we go. Um, this one is about Bob talking about satellites, geostationary satellites. All right, let's go. Consider these five geostationary satellites located over the Amazon base. <laughs> this is good. Bob, this is geostationary satellites. This is fun. A little bit of background. If you want to get a picture like this with the star trails all blurred, all you got to do is take your camera outside on a tripod, point it at the stars, set a long exposure, come back in a few hours, and you'll have a picture with the stars blurred. Because relative to Earth, right, the stars are moving. If you want to have where the stars look like dots all night, you have to put a tracker on your camera so that it tracks with the stars at 15 degrees per hour or whatever it is. Okay, now he's going to keep saying that he's tracking the geostationary satellites. Now, they may, in fact, have some kind of atmospheric satellites up in the sky, not up in space, up in the sky, that aren't moving. You know, they have them somehow stationary, whatever they do. Now, his beliefs is that they have these satellites up there, and they're orbiting the Earth at just the right speed so that they appear stationary from the ground. Right? They say they're 22,300 miles up and they're moving about 7,000 miles per hour, and that's what keeps them uh, appearing stationary. So he's going to keep referring to um, tracking them when there's no tracking involved. You'll see them as small dots. I'm specifically tracking these using a piece of software called SkyTrack. Okay. Anybody get that? Let's back that up. Specifically tracking these using a piece of software called SkyTrack. Okay. He's tracking stationary objects. Oh, P boy, he just misspoke. Let me back that up. You'll see them as small dots. I'm specifically tracking these using a piece of software called SkyTrack. Okay. You don't need to track stationary objects, Bob. The stars you would have to put to track because the stars are moving. And you you know, oh, well, he's going to do it again. Now, you have to ask yourself a couple of quick questions. Now, with the tracking on, you see the satellites as discrete little dots. There's three right there. So to see these satellites as dots doesn't require any tracking software, no mechanical 
tripod. You just put your camera on your tripod, point it to satellites, do a long exposure, come back in a few hours, and it'll there'll still be dots because they're not moving. It's like training your um, camera on a light pole. The light pole is not going to move, so you don't have to have tracking software to track the light pole, Bob. Just like you don't have to track those satellites. Now you may need a locator, but that's different than a tracker. And you keep talking about putting the tracking on for the satellites, but turning it off for the stars. And that's what you need to be tracking the stars. <laughs> what a numb nut. And there's one there and one there. When I turn the tracking software off. No, now you're turning it on. <laughs> you'll see the stars now are in focus, but the satellites are streaked. <laughs> Again, still in exactly the same formation as those first dots. A couple of questions that you have to ask yourself. See, he, he doesn't even know what he's talking about. Why are they still in such a tight formation? If I were to put up five random balloons, do you think they would continue to fly along at exactly the same speed? No, they wouldn't be flying along, Bob. If you're talking balloons, you're talking flat Earth, and they're not flying anywhere, Bob. <laughs> you can't get this through your skull. I mean, he really doesn't know what he's talking about. Right there, I mean, he's talking about balloons. Now, if we're talking balloons, that's the replacement. That would be the flat Earth equivalent of a uh, an orbiting satellite, right, that a rocket puts up. So balloons, if they're geostationary, would be actually stationary. Yet, he still says they're flying along. I, again, uh, mixing apples and oranges, right? The flat Earth with the ball Earth. So, Bob, you sound confused. I don't know. And that's it. So that's a little excerpt from the uh, hour-long video that's on Patreon. So if you want to go to Patreon, you can watch it now. Uh, that would be great. Otherwise, I'll be putting out some clips over the next couple of weeks. And then um, I'll be putting the hour-long video onto YouTube as usual, with like my usual videos. You know, so that if you, if you can't go to Patreon or can't do Patreon, believe me, I understand. You can um, wait and it'll come out on YouTube in a couple of weeks or so. All right? Okay, everybody, thank you so much. Take care. Bye.